I am outside the facility formerly known as the Riverfront Coliseum. One of the winners of the Superfan Super Give had his tickets for tonight, but contacted me, told me that he had a family emergency and could not make it. And he told me to give his tickets to some lucky person. Of course, as CM Punk would say, luck is for losers. But let's challenge that anyway. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you guys have tickets? Uh, Are you guys winners? I don't know. Well, now you look like winners. You seem like winners. I'm more of a loser. He's a winner. <laughs> oh, now, come on. How about a little self-confidence? Are you winners? Yes or no? How's it going, Jed? Yes. 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 You're winners? That's what I thought. Congratulations. You have won two free tickets to tonight's game. Thank you. Seriously? Seriously. Mm -hmm. I, my name's Jed Lockett. I have a YouTube channel. There's my card. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Maybe luck isn't for losers. fans on Facebook, Twitter, and other bands. My name is Jed Lockett. Behind me is the facility formerly known as the Riverfront Coliseum. And tonight, the Fort Wayne Comets are in town to take on Cincinnati. Tonight is 50 Shades of Grey night here at the facility, formerly known as the Riverfront Coliseum. Actually, that's what I think it is. I'm not sure. All I know is they were handing out leashes at the main entrance to the first fans that came in through the gate. And the truth is, I don't really care because Miami University is playing their first round NCAA tournament game against Providence as we speak. Here's proof. As you can see, it's scoreless in the first period. They're very early. They just literally started a few minutes ago. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? There will be copious amounts of me watching hockey while watching hockey in this video. Miami just scored. It's 1-0. Okay, I know I said I was going to watch Miami tonight. However, I was checking scores. The number one overall seed in the tournament, Minnesota State Mankato, is about to go down. RIT leads them 2-1. 13.3 seconds left in the third period. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's it. Oh, my gosh. Just like that, the number one overall seed is looking at a handshake line. That's one of the reasons I've come to love the NCAA hockey tournament. Anybody truly can beat anybody. Providence just tied it. 1-1. Great shot. Great shot. Here, I'll show you the replay. Miami 2, Providence 2. Still 40 minutes to go. First period is underway here in Cincinnati. Second period underway in Providence. And a problem just occurred to me. If they play a song and I feel compelled to dance, I am going to have to dance with my phone in one hand and with this camera in the other hand. I told you! That was 
was awkward. <laughs> I am actually sitting next to a lovely young lady who has not been to a hockey game in 10 years. So, in addition to 50 Shades of Grey night in Miami University first round NCAA tournament game night, tonight is hockey education night. <laughs> I'm a full service hockey fan, so if I have to tear myself away from a hockey game, watching a hockey game while I'm watching a hockey game to explain a hockey game to a potential future hockey fan, why not? Providence just scored 3-2. scored again. 4-2 now. And I take it you're rooting for the other team. I'm rooting for the other team, yeah. Oh, here we go again. Holy Roanoke Express Batman! You know, a few moments ago we were talking among us here in Cincinnati about how beautiful this game truly is. Gentlemen behind me were marveling at the backward skating ability. Soccer player, or I'm sorry, my mind went crazy for a moment because Providence just scored again to make it 5 2. <laughs> this isn't working out too well. No, they were marveling at the uh, ability players have to skate backwards. And that's the great appeal of this game. Something I haven't really touched on in this vlog so far. It is a beautiful sport. It's got artistry, it's got speed, it's got power. It really is a testament to how great of a sport it is that it has caught on to the level that it has here in this country, considering the high price of entry. And yet, here I am, sitting here, Watching a hockey game while I'm watching a hockey game. Now that's a sport that inspires passion. One period is in the books. Cincinnati leads one to nothing. Second period underway here in Cincinnati. While I was intermissioning during the intermission, Providence scored again to make it 6-2. In other tournament action, Omaha currently leads Harvard 1-0. Denver beat Boston College earlier today 5-2. Of course, I told you about RIT upsetting the number one overall seed, Minnesota State Mankato, two to one. And Boston University was the first team to punch a ticket to the Frozen Four with a 3-2 win over Minnesota Duluth. Plenty of good hockey and just kind of sad that it's looking like Miami's not going to be a part of it anymore. Go Fort Wayne, one one. Hockey overload. Seriously, you try following a puck while you're following a puck. The Providence goaltenders turned into a brick wall. Miami just pulled their goaltender with 10 minutes and change left. Why not? 
6-3 now with 8-34 to go in the third. Anything's possible. Who knows? I'm actually watching this game with the sound off so as not to confuse the people around me. It's enough that I'm confused. I don't need to infect the people around me. Two periods are in the books. Cincinnati leads two to one. Incidentally, Miami just scored again to make it six to four with a little less than five minutes left in the third period. They are reviewing a potential goal here in Providence, not here in Cincinnati. Here in Cincinnati, we're in the second intermission, but in Providence, they're reviewing a goal, and if it counts, it will be 6-5. With a minute 33 to go. In the immortal words of David Letterman, hang on to your wigs and keys. The goal counted, 6-5 with a minute 30 to go. Let's go, Hawks. My stream crashed. Oh! Oh my gosh. Almost an empty netter by Providence. Stoppage in play, 33 seconds to go. This save, good grief. Oh my gosh, he saved it, saved it off the post. Look at this. Look at this. He saved that goal at considerable harm to himself. Oh my gosh. Oh, put it in, put it in! Oh, that was it. Or was it? It could have been. Maybe it should have been. Providence just got an empty net goal to make it 7-5. 6.3 seconds to go, that's game. What you gonna do? Third period is underway here in Cincinnati. As you can tell, I have not changed out of my Miami Red Hawks jersey for the third period simply because I want to congratulate them on the great season they had. Congratulations on the NCHC Tournament Championship and I look forward to seeing you again next hockey season. No CM Punk jokes here. In other NCAA tournament action, Omaha leads Harvard 2-0. That's at the end of two periods. And St. Cloud State leads North Dakota one to nothing. That would be an upset if it happens. Of course, they're just in the first period, so anything could happen. Heaven knows as soon as this game's done, I will be heading back home and turning that one on. Actually, I wonder what else is on. Buffering. Seems like my life's eternally buffering. It's already turned down. I covered that earlier. Ah, here we go. Looks like a basketball game between... Looks like Notre Dame is playing Kentucky. Might as well watch it. I mean, if... RIT can take out Minnesota State Mankato. Notre Dame can sure take out Kentucky. It's probably not gonna happen, but it could. See here, look.
Technology's astounding, isn't it? The first period is over in the Notre Dame-Kentucky game. They're tied 31-31. Maybe there is some RIT in Notre Dame. That didn't sound good. Let's see what else is on. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh, the North Dakota game, yes. Yes, please. Got the St. Cloud State North Dakota game on. They're tied 1-1. See, look. In the first period. Now you couldn't see it, it was in a replay. See? Fort Wayne just scored. Our PA announcer, when he announced the Fort Wayne goals a couple moments ago, sounded like he was almost moved to tears. It's not your fault, JD. I promise you, it's not your fault. Please, you have to know, you have to believe me, it's not your fault, JD. It's not your fault. It's not your fault, JD. It's not your fault. North Dakota and St. Cloud State's in an intermission tied at once. I've got Harvard and Omaha up. Omaha leading 2 1. See here. Look at that. One minute remaining in regulation. One minute. I'll watch about, say, a minute of this game. Who knows? Three periods are in the books. 3-3 three, three is the score. I watched Nebraska-Omaha get blown out by Miami back in December. And now they are on the cusp of advancing to the Elite Eight of the hockey tournament farther than Miami got. March Madness indeed. Go Fort Wayne! Fort Wayne for Cincinnati three. Game is over. What you gonna do? Well, in my case. Ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? Fifty Shades of Grey night ended appropriately with people who purchased tickets going home very disappointed. That will do it for this edition of Diary of a Hockey Superfan. If you enjoyed this video, please body check that like button and hit subscribe as well. Until next time, in the immortal words of Red Green, keep your stick on the ice. was brought to you by Mops R Us. Mops R Us, your place for Mops. Because Mops R Us. Mops R Us.